guys, welcome back and welcome to my first time viewers. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I wanted to come in and share with you guys about uh, Russia, China, the United States and this conflict that's getting worse and worse and we know that it's going to usher in the coming of the Lord. Uh, we see all the signs and uh, we are so close uh, to uh, Jesus' return. This is like uh, very prophetic and this I believe, I believe without a doubt, is going to usher in the uh, rapture. Uh, we are like, our feet are at the gate of heaven right now. All we're waiting now is for the gate of heaven to open up and, and, and Jesus say, welcome home. Uh, we're so close. But um, before I share this with you, uh, to all the rapture watchers and my subscribers and my viewers that have watched uh, my videos uh, and have watched the uh, rapture dream uh, that I had on my first video, uh, the Lord gave me, uh, um, uh, he shared something with me while I was in my word. So I want to uh, share that with you guys because it's for all you guys. Uh, it's, it's a blessing, but I want to share this real quick because I know a lot of people uh, want to know about what's happening with Russia and China. So uh, it's very important. Stay till the end so you can hear what uh, message the Lord gave me. Uh, about my rapture dream, about one thing left, and then he was coming back for us uh, in the rapture. So I want to share that with what uh, he told me to you guys. Uh, okay, so Russia and uh, China right now are at conflict with the United States, and uh, which is an imminent war, which we know. And it says right now, which a lot of you guys have already seen this article, it says uh, A-10 war hogs are about to operate uh, from a U.S. highway for the first time on August 5th of this um, uh, year, 2021, uh, so uh, they're uh, doing a big exercise because they're expecting uh, China or Russia or both of them to go up against them in a big war, so they're preparing for that. Well, right here at the March Air Force Base, uh, just yesterday, a bunch of F-35 uh, Joint Strike fighters uh, came around. They are the government's... Uh, newest um, stealth fighters. Uh, they're the newest ones and they came in. Uh, I wasn't able to take a picture of them. They were so far up, but they came around this way and went out towards the March Air Force Base, which is uh, across from me. What divides me in the Air Force uh, Base is the freeway. So they're on the opposite side. Well, I went over there to try, try to get video or something. I couldn't uh, go on the freeway. It was too crowded and, you can, and there's no way to pull over, but I went around to the uh, March Air Force Base, which I live in in the uh, Riverside area. The other side is it's I think in Moreno Valley. Uh, so it was on the uh, so on the base out there. When I went around uh, to try to get some pictures, it um, uh, uh, it's it's blocked. The opposite side of the base is blocked, so I couldn't get uh, anywhere near where the planes had gone around towards the back, but. I am going to keep going over there uh, and try to find out if, um, uh, you know, if they're going to be taking the planes over there. I can get some pictures of them and uh, bring them back to you as soon as uh, I get something. But uh, I wanted to encourage you guys that we are at the threshold of, of Jesus coming. It's, it's so imminent and I like to come in and share to you guys, you know, how close we are and, uh, and to bring some things that are happening right now in, in um, end time prophecy. Like today it popped up on my phone that um, uh, the record high numbers of people have uh, lost their jobs. Uh, CNN uh, said that, um, uh, you know, that if we didn't get the thing, uh, you know, it was better. Uh, it, they think that we should be starved and all this stuff for those that, you know, don't have it. And uh, I want you guys to know that God's going to take care of us. It doesn't matter if we have no money or not and you don't want to, you, you like, I'm not getting that. That's fine. You know what? God's going to provide for us. God said he will give us mamma from heaven. So that still happens today. Everything that happened then, I mean, it's double for us now because Jesus died on the cross. So all we have to do is believe and receive. And uh, another thing uh, I did mention about uh, the uh, Philippines president, I had to redo that video. Uh, so I had to uh, get rid of that one. But uh, 
for those who didn't hear, the president of the Philippines is saying that you have to get it. If not, they're going around and they're arresting them and putting them in the worst prison ever. And they're giving them another different kind of, uh, that says that it's something to do with the pig something, I don't know. And uh, that it would, uh, if you don't take it, you're going in there and uh, you'll probably never come back out. So we know that it's getting bad. We see all the signs, and I want I always come in to encourage you guys. Keep going forward. It's going to be okay. God's got our backs. The word, uh, you know, God knew all this was going to happen. He already predicted it. You know, it's already, we've already seen it. You know, he's already, it's already been prophesied. And so if he, like, he knows it was going to happen, and he's allowing this to, to happen right now, he's going to take care of us. He's going to provide for us, and uh, we don't have to worry. I, uh, the, uh, th those that, uh, that, uh, that know, you know, that, that, uh, we are here for a reason, you know, those that, that know that are rapture watchers and are watching all this, we know that our time is near, but we cannot stop sharing the gospel. We cannot stop going to work. We can't stop doing the things that we're doing because we know that, that it's imminent. We don't stop because see, uh, God doesn't want us to do that. We have to go on like our daily life still because you might be going to work, you might be going to here, you might be going. Those places that you go, you're able to fellowship, you know, you're able to fellowship, which is very important because uh, every person is so important for us to reach because the blood of that person is on our hands and we know we should have uh, shared the gospel and we didn't, you know, so it's very, very important that we always share the gospel, uh, which is so important. But not only that, I wanted to share with you guys that there's no coincidence that we are here in this generation. And to be rapture watchers, God already appointed this time for us because only us that are believers in the rapture and, and are imminent expecting it, God did this, put us here for a reason. I believe there's a book in heaven just for the elect, for us, that uh, God has chosen us because uh, he knows how strong we can be. He knows that no matter what hits the fan, we're, got, we're strong enough to go forward, you know. So I encourage you guys, um, you know, just, just to be faithful and, and, and keep going on. I know it's going to get a, a little hard, but God is so faithful to see us through all this. He loves us so much. And uh, we are the ones that are going to reach the teenagers, the young adults, and, and, and those that are like out there that don't know and... and and are confused of what's going on. You know what? They have. They they're gonna want answers. You know, with all this chaos, and they're not sure too either because they didn't know the world's gonna was gonna get like this. So that's why we're here, and God has chosen us, and we have to do our our uh, you know uh, uh, you know what He's called us to do. You know our part. We have to to go in, and we have to do what what He's called us to do. And and it's it's not gonna be easy. But we know that we wait on our that great hope that we're expecting, and everything's going to fall into place. So um, I wanted to read some other stuff uh, that I have here. Now, uh, uh, it's very important that we don't go out and protest and, and, and do things, you know, without wisdom. You know, we got to use God's wisdom in everything that we do because... Uh, we want to make the right choices and the right decisions because I could see if we end up in prison for preaching the gospel or, or you know, uh, like you see a lot of pastors and stuff going to, to jail right now. But we don't want to end up in a situation where uh, we put ourselves in. So we want to be really careful of cer certain situations we don't get involved in because, like, this American couple that went to Canada and uh, went on uh, fake e uh, immunization things and they got arrested and they got $50,000 fine. I don't know how long they got or if they've been released yet, but uh, that, that's things that we gotta be really, really careful and, and watch what we do so that we don't get ourselves in a situation that, uh, you know, that uh, God didn't want us in. So we gotta be really, really careful. And, uh, you know, um, and, and you know, just, uh, our thing here on earth is to say to share the gospel and uh, that's you know and uh, and the Bible says uh, you know that uh, he created us for one thing only and that's to praise him it says uh, to worship him so that's very important too but you know what if you guys uh, you know when you guys go into your prayer rooms and stuff uh, 
give a time for the Lord, you know, when you come home from work or whatever, turn on praise and worship songs because those are, if you don't know what to pray for, turn on praise and worship because those are the most important uh, uh, things to God because it says when he hears our uh, praise to him, he inhales it and then he exhales it through his nostrils unto us, you know. All the blessings come back on us as he hears our, our praises to him, you know. Uh, so that's very important too and I, I really encourage that you guys uh, take some time in praise and worship. Even if you're doing your dishes or cleaning the house, put on praise and worship. It's so Im important, you know, to, to worship him too, you know. It's not just praying but lifting up and saying thank you, Father, you know. There's so many beautiful uh, words and songs, you know, and you could just be de dedicating those those words to the Lord in prayer. And uh, now I want to uh, share with you guys that, um, uh, uh, you know, about this uh, rapture dream that I had and I shared with you guys. Well, the Lord knew the appointed time for me to share that rapture dream. It happened in 2009, but when I moved into this house in 2019, and I remembered everything that he told me in that rapture dream, and I saw it in my kitchen. And then for uh, now, 2021, for me to start a uh, rapture uh, uh, video, you know, my video is mostly on rapture and, and everything that's going on in these end times. Well, while I was yesterday, while I was uh, uh, reading my word and I was talking to God and pray, I was in praise and worship, and the Lord brought to me that, this was the appointed time he wanted me to share my uh, uh, rapture dream because it's for now. And for all those that watched it or will watch it and, 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 and that have came to my channel, that this no, is no coincidence that you have been drawn to my channel. It was God's prophetic time for you guys to hear this rapture dream because he's saying that that rapture dream where he says one thing left to do and he's coming back for us, for me, he meant for all of us, us that are rapture watchers and that are waiting for his return. But that he said, when I asked him if I was going to die, he said, I'm coming back for you in the rapture. Well, that's for all of us. And I want you to know that he was sharing to me that we would not die. None of us that are left right now that are rapture watchers and, and you guys are watching my channel. You're excited about the coming of the Lord and you're, you're so imminent and you're sharing how Jesus is coming to others. God is telling you too, this is not only for me, it's for you guys. You guys will not die. There's no reason why I asked God, am I going to die? Because God already wanted me to say that. He knew I was going to say that because it's for all of you guys that are waiting on the rapture. You guys are not going to die. No matter what they put on us or try to get us to do, you're not going to die because God has already said through this video that we're not going to die. He's faithful to us, and he's telling us that we're not going to die no matter what. You know, it is a promise to us. You were directed to this uh, video, that video, because God wanted you to know that you're not going to die no matter what happens. See, so I'm stressing that as much as I can. You will not die. Nothing will come near you. A thousand may fall at your right, ten thousand on the other side, but nothing will come to your tent. And if you understand what I'm saying, that means that when God was bringing that to my mind, he was, you know, uh, quickening me on to, to, to share this, that you have nothing to worry about. You're covered in the blood of Jesus. Just by hearing that, that word, you know, and even those that haven't heard it and are expecting the rapture, you know, he's faithful because he knows that you're expecting it and you're so excited that he's going to let you stay to experience it because, and nothing's, nothing is going to come in between you and the rapture right now. You're going to experience it and it's going to be so beautiful. And he wanted me to share that with you guys. He brought it to me and I'm like, oh my gosh, Lord, thank you. I'm going to share it. And so I hope that encouraged you guys because it really encouraged me. And like I said, uh, he already knew everything that was going to happen and he allowed all this stuff to happen so he's got us covered in his blood so we just go forward and uh uh you know what he he loves us so much and he, and for him to to share that with me and i thought man i gotta share that with you guys because it's so amazing that uh you guys will see the rapture and and nothing's gonna stop you guys nothing no enemy's gonna come up against you from this day forward you guys are gonna be here for the rapture amen Amen. So, so whatever you're going through, you just keep praying and saying, nope, God, you already promised me I'm going to see the rapture. So, amen.
So before I close, I'm going to take communion, but like I always do, I want to ask anyone out there that doesn't know Jesus as a personal Savior, and they just heard this whole video, and they're like, I want to go too. You know, you're like, I want to go to heaven too. I want to, I want to be taken out too. You know what? You can go with us, because you know what? All you have to do is say, Jesus, I believe. I believe in you. I know you are the Son of God, and I know you died on that cross, and you rose for me, So, and, and you forgave me of all my sins, and, and he will cleanse you. He will clean you of everything right now. You know, all you have to do is believe that he is the Son of God, and that God sent him, you know. Uh, simple John three sixteen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Oh my God, that's how great our God is. All we have to do is believe in him, and he is so merciful and so wonderful. I want to cry. He's just a, God is so good. But I just want to tell you, you know, just lift your hands up right there where you're at and just say, all you have to do is say, Jesus, here I am. I surrender all. Come into my heart and change me. I, I accept you as Lord and Savior. I believe, I believe that you are the Son of God and you rose and died, you died on that cross and you rose on the third day just for me. Every and for every sickness, every infirmity, every disease, and, and, and for every sin we've ever committed, it's washed by the blood of Jesus. As far as the east is to the west, it is done. It is gone. No more. All you've got to do is continue forward and saying, you know, with all your heart, I believe and I want to change. Lord, come and change the things I cannot change. And he's going to meet you right there. We love you guys. And if you did accept that, welcome to the family. Uh, find yourself a, a, good, a place where you can fellowship with other believers. Even a, a Zoom on, online, you know, that where you can uh, talk back and forth. Uh, that will help a lot because uh, it's so important for you to continue learning more about the Lord because He has a lot more that goes with just salvation. And uh, you need to, to, you know, learn all that. So it's good to, to fellowship with other believers so you can learn more. Love you guys and welcome to the family. We're going to take communion now. So if anybody wants to join in, uh, feel free. So uh, like I said, for those that don't know, the, the uh, uh, bread is for uh, any sickness, infirmity, or disease, or anything that may come in contact with them. But it's already done. Jesus already paid the price. It's done. All you got to do is believe. And be faithful in, 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 in your relationship with the Lord. Like it says in Psalms 91, you know, you have to have that uh, relationship with God and, 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 and know who He is and, and say, Lord, I, I believe and I receive and, and stay in your word. And uh, the cup is um, for our sins. He washed all His sins away also when He went on that cross and through His blood that is done. So let's pray. Uh, Father, we lift this bread in remembrance of your body that was uh, broken on Calvary over 2,000 years ago for every sickness, every infirmity, and every disease, and every poison that may come in contact with our bodies. It is finished. You've already paid it all. All we have to do is remember that you've already paid the price. Thank you, Father, and we give you all honor and glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Father, we lift up this cup in remembrance of your blood that flows through our bodies for the remissions of our sin, as far as the east is to the west. Father, they are no more. You've already washed them. And we thank you, Father God, that you are a merciful God, and you, you see our sins no more, Father. They are all gone, all erased. No matter what we did yesterday, today, or what we might do tomorrow, Father God, you forgive us now because our heart we have dedicated to you, and we surrendered all our heart to you with with a pure heart and a, and a humbleness. We come and we ask that you, Father, forgive us. And we thank you for that. And that's why we take this in Jesus name. Amen. So thank you guys for joining me. I love you guys and welcome to the new, uh, those that gave their life to the Lord. If you have any prayer requests or anything you want to, uh, 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 a comment you want to leave in the box below, please do. And for the, uh, for the believer, you know, also, you know, leave a comment if you need any prayer. Uh, I'm going to continue praying. Don't forget, if it's important if you have any oil to anoint uh, your doorways in your home just for protection, you know, uh, for, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> these, uh, we know that the, the, the enemy's loose right now and it's worse than ever. So let's protect our homes and our families. And even if you put some on yourself too, that's very important. I forgot. Uh, anoint yourself with oil. 
and uh, uh, stay, stay strong. We are the generation that will reach them. God has given us uh, all power and all authority. We can do this, you know. Uh, if we don't do it, who's going to do it, you know? We are the rapture watchers, and we're the only ones that are really going out there that are so excited about Jesus coming, you know? So I love you guys. Uh, keep going forward. I will see you next time. Love you guys. Thank you for everything uh, you've done for me and for being on here on my channel. It means a lot to me. God bless, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, I am going to be doing a, um, a video on healing, so uh, that's going to be coming up. So... Uh, keep your eyes uh, open for that. It's going to be like healing scriptures and little notes that go along with it to encourage you guys. And I'm going to do it with the black screen so that you guys can listen to them while you sleep. And I might be doing another video in Spanish of my vision that I had that you guys already heard about, about my flowers. So uh, I'm going to be doing it in Spanish for my uh, family and my Spanish-speaking audience. So I love you guys. God bless. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.